so far in this course we are talking about single dimension array it means the array that was having only one single dimension but in reality array can be multi-dimensional it means they can be two dimensional or they can be three dimensional or more than that let's understand how to work with multi-dimensional array in c sharp programming language but before that let's quickly have a look what exactly is a 2d array or multi-dimensional array over here you can see i'm having a matrix and in this matrix i'm having couple of values here is the one two three so basically there are multiple rows and multiple columns what if i want to store this kind of data in my variable can i do that yes it is totally possible we can store this entire data in two dimensional array because we are having only two dimensions over here one is this dimension and second is this dimension let's learn how to work with this type of data this is my console application and in this console application i want to work with the 2d array to work with the 2d array we have to define let's say i want to deal with the integer value so i have to write the integer over here and let's say the name is my array so this is how you are working with the single dimension array but this time i have to deal with the 2d so here i have to put a comma so now we are defining two dimension one is before this comma and second is after this comma and this is how we can do it new int and now i can write number of rows so let's say the number of rows are four and the number of columns are three this is how i can declare my two dimension array in c sharp programming language it means i'm declaring an array that will have four rows and three columns let's understand what is the meaning of this row and columns over here this is how it will look like so this is what we have done so far this is integer and that's the comma this is the name of my array and i'm writing this new int four comma three this four is number of rows it means this one one two three four this array has four rows and these are number of columns so these are one two and three this is how we can declare this array now let's say i want to deal with the elements of this array so what if i want to find out the first element remember we can get the entire data by using the index so that index concept is also applicable over here in this 2d array so what if i want to find out this first value it is the combination of the row index and the column index so what is the combination it is zero comma zero for the second one what is the combination it is 0 comma 1 for this value what is the combination the index of the row which is 0 and the index of the column which is 2 remember the first index would be of row and the second index would be of the column the index of this 5 would be 1 comma 1 the index of this 9 would be 2 comma 2 let's demonstrate this entire concept in our console application to assign the values over here you can write like this and because every element will be an array so here we have to write it like this so it is one two three then put a comma and write it again four five six put another comma seven eight nine another one ten eleven twelve see this is how the data looks like over here for this array now if i want to access some of the element so let's say it is console dot right line and in this my array i want to fetch the first element which is zero comma zero and let's just comment this entire line and let's run this application over here you can notice we are getting one which is the first element so let's say i want to find out this last element which is this one so the index is three comma two so what i'm passing over here is three comma two let's run it and you can notice on the output window we are getting this 12 this is how we are getting the value in the same way you can also update the values what does it mean my array let's say i want to update the value of this same index which is 3 comma 2 and this time i want to make it 90 and just for the verification i'm just going to copy this entire line paste it again just to verify what is the change in the value let's run it again over here you can notice first we are getting 12 and then we are getting 90 because in this line we are updating the value at this particular index to 90 and again we are fetching it that is why we are having this updated value now here is the important concept how will you find out how many dimensions are there in the array for that there is one property with name rank so let's just comment all these lines and over here let's say it is console dot right line and here i'm writing my array dot rank let's run it 
here you will notice we are getting two it means this is 2d array if i'm having one simple array which is the previous one let's say it is int test is equal to new int and i just want to find out the rank of this first one so i'm writing this test over here let's run it so you will notice first i'm getting one it means this test is one dimension array and this my array is two dimension array okay now now let's talk about this 2d array so i want to find out how many rows are there so for that we have one method which is called as get length and in this get length method we have to provide the dimension so i want to work with the rows so first i have to provide row the index of the row is zero let's run it here you can notice we are getting four it means there are four rows in this particular array to find out the column again i have to pass the another another dimension which is one for the column it is one let's run it this time you will notice there are four rows and three columns in this array now by using this concept we can loop through all the values of this array so here i have written a very basic program so first we are running a for loop and this for loop is running from i to how many rows are there to find out the rows we can use this my array dot get length zero and this is what i'm doing over here right and then i'm increasing it plus one so this loop will run for all the rows it means for all the four rows now let's say i'm inside this first row okay so in the first row now i want to apply the loop for all the columns so for the columns i am creating another for loop and it is running from j is equals to zero to get length of one it means the column it means the length of the column and the columns are three so this loop would work from zero to three so what is the combination of the i and j over here we are having for the first loop for the first iteration the value of i would be zero and the value of j would be zero one and two it means we are having zero 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 one zero two in the next one the value of this i would be one so what we are having one comma zero one comma one one comma two and what i'm writing over here i'm writing this console dot write method and i'm getting the value by using this approach and i'm adding one simple space over here once this loop will be done it means once the value of the entire row will be printed then i want to add a new line so that's why i'm writing console dot write line over here just for the new line now let's run this application and see what is the output on this console screen and now let's just comment these two lines perfect let's run it over here you can notice we are having all the values we are having this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and this is how you can work with the two dimensional array in c sharp programming language now what if you want to work with the three dimensional array so for that you have to write the concept like this double comma so it means we are having x y and z 3d array and here i'm writing this new int so it is let's say three comma four comma five so what we are writing we are defining three rows four columns and five is the depth to assign the values again we can use the combination of x y z for example this my 3d array like this right now i want to understand how this would look like remember this is single dimension array this is two dimension array so if i'm creating another array of this type of data then we will get three dimension array and if you want to find out how many dimensions are there in this array then again you can use that rank property and that will return three in this case and to loop through all the values you can create one more nested loop over here and over there you can use this my array dot get length two so that two will represent the depth of this array so this is how you can work with the 2d and 3d array in this c sharp programming language in real applications most of the time we use the single dimension array in some special cases we also deal with the two dimension array but you will use this three dimension array very rarely and in some very complex and very specific application that is all in this video thank you for watching have a great day